Hello YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new to the channel, I welcome you. I hope you all are doing great and having a wonderful day today. We are going back to summer camp, jumping back into the quarry. We are going to continue. We are in chapter 4 and last time, lots of things happened last time. Nick got hurt, Abby got attacked but she's safe, Emma is alone, and Jacob is somewhere in the woods, half naked. But let's... Let's jump in and see what happens. That was horrible. It was, it, it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter and it was just. Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Well, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell us what happened? I'm a little attacked. Where's Happy? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. Right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal. The hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Jack, is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Big claws. Teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh fuck! Look at that! Oh fuck. shit! That black stuff—that's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Apply pressure. A apply pressure. Uh, so, oh, sorry. He's not doing so good. Something bad's gonna happen to him, man. You're okay. It's okay. Oh, fuck that. We should amputate. We should what? cut it off before the infection spreads. What? Why? Why would we do that? Exactly. I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What, what do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? Call out. Call out. Hey! You got a gun! And I know how to use it! Sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. Oh, I'm very careful. I'm not gonna shoot. I'm not gonna shoot. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. I don't say that. Very brave. Don't piss it off. Or whoever the fuck it is. So, uh... Law just sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Uh... Don't shoot, don't shoot. Oh my god, I, I almost shot. You. <laughs> I almost shot. I almost shot. Oh man. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. 
Uh, what happened to you? Uh, oh, where's Emma? Cause she's alone. <laughs> we left her alone. Oh, fuck. oh shit! Oh, we left her Christ, alone. Um, I, I left Emma on the island, and I told her I'd be right back. <laughs> oh Ouch. shit! Wait, the island? Yeah, the yeah, island. Why? Oh, no, I just, I just thought I saw someone over there before. Someone? No, I, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's probably nothing. I left her out there alone. Well, I think we're gonna head to the lodge. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? And don't ask. Oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like a, he had like a bottle thing. I don't know, dude, it's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah, no, it's super fucked up. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude. We gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... I'm not letting go. We... No, wait. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh shit! Wait! Fucking stop! We're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Just, That's kind of funny. Sorry. Nikki and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's there is a gun here. at the lodge, though. I remember it. Ryan, There's a gun sorry. at the lodge. This is bullshit. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. There's a gun at the lodge, what, so he could have taken it. Run in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. Wheelbarrow. Perfect. But yeah, there is another weapon at the lodge. I remember it from chapter 2. I remember we found it. Right. Let's see what tonight brings. Chapter two, right? Oh man, my brain is so far okay. off right now. Here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool. Well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here. On a strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Completely fucked. Sorry. Okay, full disclosure. I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing, not that I want to go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what, sorry, I'm bending. Well, explore bending. You know what, fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> Hell yeah. Here we are. Is there anything down here? Why don't you just swim back? You know what? That's probably a bad idea. I just want to make sure there's nothing down here, you know? That's why I'm going down here. Not for any particular reason. Is that you, Jacob? Uh, that is not Jacob. That is... That was... That was... That was creepy old man. That was the creepy old man. It, it looked like the creepy old man. And now he's spying on young, half-naked women. That's creepy AF. <clears throat> All right. All right. No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TBH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. 
Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay. We're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. Yeah. I mean, the waste shouldn't go into a river or any water, you know. Not even a lake. So, I don't think you have to worry about that. But if it did, that is, prior, that is disgusting. Pretty disgusting if it does. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. Yeah, you don't even know what a wheelbarrow is. I mean, she, she doesn't know what a wheelbarrow is, so you yeah, know. <laughs> We got some canoes. It's a canoe, right? Right? That's a canoe. It's a canoe. If I say it's a canoe, it's a canoe. You're not going to talk about the canoes? Fine. So this island is like oh my. an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded Just into scroll. the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water. Kind of like an airbed. But... I'm older and wiser now, and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling, and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man-child. who's all sad, because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative, by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Okay, so do we forget about it or rant about her pathetic life? What is up there? You know, she wants to rant and fucking rant. Let, let's oh, go. What the hell? We're in it now anyway. Well and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? I was really excited for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory, and I know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada, yada, yada. I guess I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. I guess that's reality, much of it, you know? Oh yeah, this looks real nice. <laughs> yeah, I think we took the wrong way. Oh my god, I don't like this at all. Oh, fuck this place. First time I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. Nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. It's better as a memory, actually. No, we're not cool. Uh, reflective. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And that spark that changed our lives forever. Then we'll be like 70 year old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Only time will tell, Jakey boy. And as they say, 
Time makes fools of us all. But we will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. Why don't you tell him that? You know, why, just, why don't you just tell him exactly how you feel instead of leading him on, you know? Poor Jacob. I kind of feel sorry for Jacob. I mean, he thinks that, you know, you're in love and blah, 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 you know, all that, and you're not. You, you want to do your own thing. If I can tell him, you know? I, I mean, I'm just saying. Hmm. Thinking about it, how could this have been Mr. H when he was back at the lodge? Exactly. There's somebody else. What is this? Box of matches. A box of matches from the Harbinger Motel. A few match stickers have been snapped off, and there are marks on the striking surface. Both the raven nevermore. This place is fucking creepy. Oh, camera's a little bit janky. You know, let's just go up. Climb. Just climb. Guess I gotta do this one handed, huh? That didn't sound great. <laughs> uh. If this thing oh, snaps. No, I am nailing this ladder climbing. <sighs> All right. This is the luxurious Skyway Treehouse, obviously. Constructed in the year 180 fuck by a blindfolded man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. A real Hackett vintage classic. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh look, it seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Oh shit, I heard Looks that. Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. Search bags, open trap door. Uh, search? I mean, you could, you, we Bag could find. And something you know useful. I'm putting some clothes on. This yeah. is all you're getting. We could find something else that's useful, you know? Is there anyone on the roof? I don't didn't see anyone. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. We found useful shit. Fun. Okay. So, I think there's something up there, and it is not going to make me jump, I can promise you that much. Are you sure about that? <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. Oh my fucking god! Oh my god, oh my god! Oh! Use the taser! Fucking use the taser! Taste it! Taste the bitch! Oh yeah! Fucking taste the bitch! Take a photo? <laughs> Take a photo! Not fucking run! <laughs> so I took a photo of you, bitch! Oh my god, run, Emma! Run! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Oh, bitch flew right off! Oh, you go, girl! You go, girl! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! 
Almost there. Oh my god. If we fall down, if we fall, we'd be dead. <laughs> we'd be so dead. Keep running. Keep running. Oh shit. Hi. Don't you look nice. Uh spray? Oh it worked! It fucking worked! Yes! Go. Fucking go. Oh. Hop. Hop the hop hop hop. Oh my god. Uh schmook. Oh yeah. Hope we don't do it. it! Oh Fuck away from there. You gotta go. You gotta go. Go. Use trap door. Block the door. You know, we don't have time. Oh! Oh shit! Oh! Oh my god! Go! Go! Fucking go! Oh! Close it! Close it! Close it! Oh my god. Oh my god. Bitch is crazy. Holy shit. Oh. Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no. Sorry. I'm just. I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Oh man, I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll uh, be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> Ooh. Strength, yeah, pick that up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Strength. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power. Tapping into previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with other it could rip away. All right. Well, he seems to be able to walk a little bit. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You know, I have a bad feeling about Nick. You and I are going to find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think it has their... Yeah, be cautious. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is... I don't know, has their scent or something? What? I don't know, like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's gonna track them down? I... I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. <sighs> Come on. Let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No. Did you? A couple times, yeah. Oh no. Where are you going? I I I I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. Don't go, Dylan. Don't go. Follow Ryan. Be a good boy. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. You don't know that. Paranoid. It could be paranoid. Okay, let's just be hopeful. Although I feel Dylan well, is a little bit news. paranoid. Yeah. So what now? We call for help? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? Police. The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, yeah, but like what 
should I ask for? Like police, ambulance, <sighs> everything. Determine call the cops. Call the cops. Cops with guns. We need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say 911. What's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help. My friends may have been attacked by a bear or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are. So it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now. And we really need backup. Yeah, something like that. That sounds great. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. OK. Uh, What's wrong? Dead. You sure you didn't hang up? Well, that is weird. I oh, heard it cut weird. off. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You <laughs> tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. Radio station. What? The radio thing, the right? Radio Hut has yeah. some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. You gotta be crazy. Only temporary. Fine. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, okay. It's probably the weather. Weather? Oh, weather. weather. Ryan. Exactly, Maybe. what weather? Maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit in, a little bit intense. Uh does she need it? Aggressive, give her your gun. Do you think she really needs it though? Yeah. Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's and we have in the one. lodge, we're going out there. You literally Wait. just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Yeah. Like twenty seconds ago. <laughs> Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Do it. Give the gun. We already <sighs> have one. All right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. Got something for you. And I interrupted something? No. She looks mean and angry. I don't, I don't know. Such an attitude. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. <laughs> no problem. Don't mention it. 
<laughs> oh my god. He really likes Ryan. He really likes Ryan. <laughs> like a lot. Oh. We're back at Emma. Oh, how's she doing? Running for her life still? Or she's on the top of the roof. No, there she is. I know, don't tell me you're gonna jump. Oh my god, what the hell are you doing, girl? Oh, that's great. Yeah, you are... Oh yeah, that looks so safe. You know, we don't have time for this. Oh my god, we don't have time for this. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on! Fucking jump. This is bad. This is a bad idea. Oh, make it! Make it! Yes! Oh, oh, oh yes! Oh, I would never do that. But we fucking make it! Made it! Oh... Oh. oh, that was insane. Oh, time to run. Time to fucking run. Oh. I mean, she's tough, though. Gotta give her that. Shit. All right. Oh, good to see you. Good, uh, to, good see to see you. Good to see you too. That's great. A oh, time again, is it? Strength. Hmm. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all, and with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see, and as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? No, thank you. But I appreciate it. No? No, moving okay. on. So it's goodbye again. Yeah, see you later. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Uh, psh, you too? Who was that? That was the end of chapter 4, and I think this is a great place to end the video, and it looks like we will be playing as Nick next time. So next time we will start chapter 5. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, drop me a comment down below, tell me what you think, give me some feedback. And if you want to see more on this channel, you could always hit the sub button. And if you hit the notification bell, you will be notified whenever there is a new video. And again... Thank you so much for dropping by. I really appreciate it. You guys are absolutely amazing. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.